top five dopamine producing drugs. These drugs produce the most amount of dopamine over your baseline. And this is what makes them so addictive or one of the reasons they're so addictive. So number five is alcohol. Alcohol is going to do 40 to 60% more dopamine in your brain than your baseline dopamine is. So what your brain normally outputs, this is going to up your dopamine. And this is why for a lot of people like with ADHD, even alcohol seems to almost slow you down and calm you down, give you a little bit of focus. That's where some of that size, that energy comes from with drinking alcohol is that dopamine high. Number four is nicotine. Nicotine is 150 to 200% over your baseline dopamine. Nicotine is one of the hardest substances actually to quit. When it comes to actually going and quitting cold turkey, it is one of the toughest because you are microdosing that much dopamine every time you're hitting a vape, every time you're hitting a cigarette. It is a brutal addiction. Now, number three is opiates, fentanyl, heroin. This is going to produce two to 250% over your baseline dopamine. Even when it comes to like fentanyl, that produces a lot of dopamine for a lot of people. This is a lot of energy, but it's also offset because of what this does to your central nervous system, to your breathing patterns. Number two, cocaine. That's 250 to 300% above your baseline dopamine. This is starting now to, to creep up there. Cocaine is known as a dopamine drug. It is a stimulant. It prevents the dopamine reuptake, which means dopamine just piles up on your brain receptors. Your brain never recycles it back through. Number one highest dopamine producing drug is crystal meth. Over a thousand times over your baseline dopamine is what it's going to produce. That's why it's one of the most addictive substances there is out there. And also one of the brutal withdrawals out there when it comes to depression. It comes to actually your brain rewiring itself. And dopamine doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get addicted to a substance, but it can make it very easy to get addicted to a substance because it is hitting that baseline and increasing it, which is the reward center of our brain. And again, I share for educational purposes only. I'm a recovering cocaine and alcoholic addict. When it comes to getting sober, there is no right or wrong way of getting sober. It's your way. Whether it's going to inpatient treatment or outpatient treatment, download Sunflower Sober. It's tied down below. Link is in the bio. Find a therapist, a doctor, a psychiatrist. Get on the right meds. Go to an AA meeting, an NA meeting, an LNON meeting. Go to all the meetings and then some. But don't give up. For the one fighting through every single day, don't give up. It does get better and you're worth it.